Hi everyone, Jamie Humphreys here and welcome to the second part of our deeper look at the Cab Clone IR. In this video, we're going to be focusing in on studio applications. We're gonna kick things off by looking at how you can connect Cab Clone IR to your computer to load third-party impulse responses. And then in the second part of the video, we're going to be looking at recording. I'm going to be taking a backing track and recording all of the parts uh, during a performance. So each time I record a new section, you will see another, another me appearing on the screen so you can hear and see how easy it is for you to just simply plug Capclone IR into your audio interface and record great tone, be it in your home studio or in a professional studio environment. Okay, so let's uh, let's get down to work and uh, start digging deeper into the studio side of Capclone IR. I'd like to take a moment now just to show you how easy it is to load third-party impulse responses onto Cab Clone IR and also how you can organize these into a cab library folder and also move them around onto the various preset slots which can be loaded from either the front of the unit or via MIDI. So I have my USB cable, which I've plugged into my Mac. I'm going to plug that now into Cab Clone IR. So now Cab Clone IR is showing up as a drive on my Mac. So I'm going to open up Cab Clone IR by double clicking. And here we have bank A and bank B, which correspond with your, for your, your two banks of eight impulse responses. And then here we have Cab Library. That's empty at the moment. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go over to, I've got some impulse responses that I've just put on the desktop and uh, I'm gonna drag those over into the cab library and wait a second for those to load. Okay, so now my impulse responses have copied over to the cab library. We can see them here. And if I click on bank A, first of all, this is our Bank A preset. So here we have the 4x12 recto cabinet. So what I'm going to do is going to drag that, drop that there. So I've moved it out of um, file number one. So basically preset one in bank A now on the Kaplan IR is empty. So I'm going to take that IR and I'm going to drop that into the cab library. So if I click on cab library, you now can see that I have my um, recto cab and you can see that I have my third party IRs. Just for ease, actually, I'm going to open up a second instance of Cab Clone IR here. There's my bank, um, my file, uh, file one empty. So I'm going to go into my, my third party IRs. So just going to choose the first one at the top of the list and drag that over and drop that in there. So now we have this uh, V30 impulse response is now in bank A on file one, which is preset number one. So as you can see, it's really that easy to uh, move files around and for you to organize your library and to organize your presets. So uh, once, um, once I'm done, I'm just gonna uh, eject Cab Clone IR as a drive. Let's get that ejected. So now I've ejected Cab Clone IR from the Mac and uh, that's all stored on there. So I now have a folder in the cab library of some of my favorite impulse responses, some of my favorite third party impulse responses. And I've removed one of the impulse responses, the 4x12 recto cab from preset number one on bank A. And I've put that into the cab library and I've loaded my own uh, third party impulse response onto preset number one. It really is uh, that straightforward and it, it's quite easy for you to arrange your cabinets, arrange your library so you, you can move your impulse responses around depending on what work you are doing, what playing activity you're doing, whether you're doing gigs or sessions, if you have different choices of cabinet, depending on what application you have for Cab Clone IR. So now I thought it would be pretty cool to do a little bit of recording and I'm going to take an old backing track of mine. This is a White Snake style track that I recorded a while back for a job. I've removed all of the original guitars, so I've only got the bass, drums and keyboard parts and I'm going to layer up the guitars in this performance video. So when there's a double track guitar part, you'll see two of me uh, recording the uh, independent parts or maybe it's going to be the same part, but uh, you'll be able to see and hear how I, I put these parts together. 
I'm going to use a traditional 4x12 recto cabinet for the rhythm part. I'm going to use the Lone Star 2x12 for the clean part, the open back. I'm going to use the 1x12 recto cab for the first solo. And then for the second solo, we're going to use the 2x12 recto cabinet. I'm going to be on a bank a uh, bank B, sorry, the uh, the studio bank, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to be using a condenser and a ribbon mic combination for this. Hopefully you all enjoy this recording session slash uh, performance video.